certainly got it all this morning. Great to have your company on this Wednesday, the 12th of August. Well, the Australian people will be asked to have their say on gay marriage. After a marathon party room meeting, Tony Abbott announced there would be no free vote for MPs on the issue. But he has promised to hold a referendum after the next election. We have finalised a position for the duration of this term. Uh, going into the next election, we'll have more to say, but the disposition is that in the next term of Parliament, we will put it to the people. That was the Prime Minister late last night. Let's go straight to our political reporter, Charles Croucher, in Canberra. Charles, a pretty fiery meeting last night, and it seems a divided coalition. The Prime Minister emerged with a plan to have a plan, a new plan, by the next election. Tony Abbott saying it should be put to the people with a referendum or a plebiscite within the next three years. Now, the Constitution currently says the Parliament has the power to make laws on marriage, so a referendum is effectively redundant. That leaves a plebiscite, that is a non-binding, non-compulsory vote of the population, the like of which we haven't seen for almost four decades. Put this in contrast to Labor, Bill Shorten has vowed to legislate within 100 days if he becomes Prime Minister. And given the government's own pollsters recently put 72% of Australians in favour of marriage equality, the Prime Minister, the government and those backbenchers in marginal, MP, uh, marginal seats will be hoping they're happy to wait. Charles Croucher, thanks very much for that. So, no free vote for MPs, but a referendum after the next general election to let the people decide. For more, we're joined now by marriage equality advocate and Tony Abbott's sister, Christine Forster. Good morning to you, Christine. Hi, Did your brother let you down last night? Look, I was very disappointed with the yeah, result. Um, I sorry. think that this should have been a decision that was kept in the parliament. Uh, and not, um, you know, a, a, a conscience vote would have meant a decision uh, that was made in the parliament as opposed to made by parties. Uh, and yes, it was very disappointing. But, um, you know, there, there's, there is talk now of a plebiscite. Um, if that's what it takes to get this very important change, which is very important to millions, millions of Australians and will be really very good for our country, uh, ultimately, then let's put it to a plebiscite, but let's not put it to a plebiscite after the next election. Let's put it to a plebiscite at the next election. If I can pick up on your point about it being decided by Parliament, in fact, the Prime Minister said very recently that it should be decided should by, be the owned Parliament. by the Parliament. Exactly. Yeah. He said last night it should go to the people. Why do you think the backflip? Because I think a lot of people remember his response to Liz Hayes back in 2010 when she asked him about homosexuality and he said he felt threatened by it. Do you think that's still the case and he's just flustered by the, the whole issue? No, I don't think that's the case. Uh, but there are a lot of, there's a lot of politics around this. I mean, we've seen it in the Labor Party and we've seen it in the Liberal Party. Uh, the reality of it, of this situation, is that this reform, the reform of marriage, uh, to enable marriage to be something that can be accessed by all Australians, <laughs> like myself, uh, is a good thing for our country. It will be a good thing uh, for, for the for the families of Australia, for the young people of Australia, for the businesses of, uh, businesses of Australia. You've seen corporate Australia come out very hard in, in favour of this. Um, it's, it's a great thing for the country. Uh, it's something that we should do. Uh, we should do it sooner rather than later. Uh, unfortunately, the Liberal Party has decided that they won't allow their members a conscience vote, which I think would have been the best way to go on this, but that hasn't happened. So if we're going to go to a plebiscite, I, I have great confidence personally that the Australian people will, will vote overwhelmingly in favour of this change if it's put to them. So let's do it uh, and let's not say that it has to be something that happens after the next election. Let's do it at the next election. The problem with referendums is that we, they are notorious, we know. They're very difficult to win. Very yeah. difficult to win. Why do you think this would be different? Well, this isn't a referendum issue. I mean, this isn't a constitutional issue. This is simply a matter of uh, asking the Australian people, uh, do you, are you in support of this change? And it's a change that has to go to the parliament. It's, it's simply a, a change in the federal leg legislation as, as to how we define marriage uh, not being between you know that the new definition would be that it's not just between can only be defined as being between a man and a woman it could be between two adults uh, consenting adults so it, it doesn't have to go to a referendum it doesn't it shouldn't have to be bound by the strict rules that a referendum would have to be bound by it would simply be a, a question of asking the a majority of these of the Australian people are you in favor of this 
of this legislative change. And if that's what we have to do to get this through, then fantastic. Let's do it, and let's do it at the next election. On a personal note, what does this mean for your relationship? Well, on a per <laughs> I mean, I'm engaged to Virginia, uh, and on a personal note, I'm planning to get married. Uh, Carl was planning to, to be the... To He's be already <laughs> offered up his <laughs> yeah, MC <I> services. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll take him up on that. <laughs> you should. It'll be a marriage you'll never forget. <laughs> <laughs> I'm planning not to, but uh, planning not to forget it. Mm. <laughs> but look, yeah, obviously, for, for, for us and for many Australians, this is a really important thing. It's about, uh, you know, being just being treated like every other Australian. Uh, being able to marry the person you love, being able to stand up in front of your friends and family and say that we are special to each other, we choose each other to be our family. And that's that's all this is about. You know, nobody nobody wants to do anything more or less than that. And and that's all Virginia and I want to do. And uh, you know, the sooner that we can do that in Australia, in our home, where we wanted where we want to be able to do that with our friends and family gathered around us, the better I think. Christian Foster, always appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks very much. And let us know your thoughts. Do you think gay marriage should go ahead? Is it a matter for the people or a matter for the parliament? You can send us an email, Facebook or Twitter.